everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV, and I'm here with my new friend Gary, who's converted this very cool horse trailer into a camper. So he's gonna give us a tour and an interview in just a minute. It's Robin and this is my friend Gary. Do you want to say hi? Hi everyone. So we're at the RTR. What do you think so far? It's wonderful. Isn't awesome. it great? Everybody should be here. Yeah. He just happens to be right across from me and I saw this horse trailer that was converted into a camping trailer. Would you, is that what you would say? The um, you use? Yes, I, I call it my toy hauler. Oh. It was a horse trailer, it's not a toy hauler. That's true because you've got the garage here. Yes. It's really cool you guys and he's nice enough to show us the inside. But first, tell us the history of this trailer and how you ended up using it as a camper. Well, I was uh, married at one time, which the marriage didn't last, but uh, I bought the trailer and, and uh, she took the animals and I turned the, the trailer into my toy hauler. So nice. That's how it worked out. Yeah. Did you always envision it as a place that you could take on the road? Well, initially uh, it was a six horse trailer and I moved the wall in the front back two stalls and made a four horse trailer out of it and built a um, living quarters in the front so that we could haul the animals into the Sierras and then we would pack with horses and mules back into the Sierras. Fun. And, uh, and then when uh, the horses and mules were taken out, uh, I started putting my toys in it. So that's what we got now. Nice. How long did it take you to build it out? You know, it took several years over a period of time because I didn't really know uh, what I wanted to do with it all. I just uh, would take it out, it means I had the living quarters in the front, and stack stuff on the floor in the back until I just worked on it a little bit at a time. In my spare time, it was kind of a hobby. That's great. How yeah. long is it? It's 24 foot from the box part of it, and then the overhang in the front is about another 8 foot, and that's where the bed's at before the pickup bed. It's a gooseneck. Nice. And what do you uh, haul it with? Uh, what do you tow it with? A 99 Dodge uh, Ram pickup with a Cummings diesel. And that does okay? It does great. That's I got great. I get 12 and a half miles to the gallon wow. pulling this thing. Do here. you take it into really rough areas? Does it do okay in backcountry? Yeah, it, it seems really, to do fine here. Yeah, it really does because I, I put the the ax, the axles under the springs, which raised it seven inches, wow. and that gave me more clearance. Oh, so that's can, a good tip. Yeah, so I can take it to pretty into pretty you know hilly places and, and the, the tanks that I put up underneath for the, the gray and black uh, holding tanks, uh, I got low profile so they were sucked up oh, under nice. there pretty tight so we got a lot of clear. Nice, that's great. Yeah. Well can we see the inside? Yes. Great. So this is the back, right Gary? Yes. This is the toy box part. Oh how fun. That's the storage. Keep my motorcycles and my electric bike and I have my barbecue pits and my uh, just all my junk. I got a 2,000 watt uh, generator there if I need it. Although I have 400 watts of solar panels on the top, and I and I really never used the generator, but I haven't been in an area where there's been a lot of cloud cover for a long time. I just got my tables and and my kayaks on the wall over here. Uh -huh. I don't know if you want to yeah. look into there. And, oh, that's great. Yeah, and. And I, my bike, I, I need to take these out. I'm getting ready. It's going to rain tomorrow, so I've just left them in there until it rains, and then I'll pull them out of there. And right. My big screen TV up there, and, and and you'd have to step up inside to see the cabinets, and we'll look at that from the inside when okay. we get up there. Yeah. And so that's kind of what's back here. That's great. It's like a, it's like a dream toy hauler. Yeah. Super stealthy. It, it's super stealthy and it's super uh, strong and tough. The, these walls are made for horses to kick, so you can't hardly hurt this thing. It'll it'll be around long after I'm gone. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Okay, let's see the inside. All right, let's go. How much are you going to be camping in this thing? Um, well, I'm just getting started with this. I, I come to the RTR last year and it was really awesome, so I went home and made a few changes that I wanted to do to it, and uh, and now I've set out and I'm planning to be gone for for three months and I, I'm only going home because it's tax time and I got to do all that kind of stuff and then I might take off again from there. Did you put this on and on yourself? Yes. Uh, most, a lot of the stuff that I put on and in this trailer, I bought, I bought a, uh, a an old camper that, and I got all the appliances out of the old camper for 500 bucks that worked, you know, was really inexpensive. 
that worked well. I got this off an old trailer that had kind of rotted away and it had always been folded up so the, the awning was in pretty good shape. So, it's gorgeous. Yeah, so it worked great. I, really cozy. I just, I just had to mount it on here and here it is. Here's the side entrance or the main entrance to the living quarters. Nice. And uh, come right on in. You have a little screen here. Yes. Which yeah. is great. That worked awesome too. I love Thank it. Thank you. So I see your garage is here in the back. Yes. This is the this is the, the garage. You can see the, the other end of it from from here, this is the, the cabinets that I put in this last year because I thought I needed more storage. And I got the sun oven that I uh, saw in some of the videos and I thought, well, I need one of those. And I put my big screen TV right right there on that wall. Nice. And when I pull the motorcycle and the bike out of here, this kind of turns into my living room or oh, that's man, great. Cave, man cave, <laughs> as Bob had said at one time. Right. Yeah. Gary and I had both of our solar cookers out having dueling solar cookers yes. yesterday and his his was bigger than mine. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of jokes. Yeah. We won't go into it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see the rest. Okay. This, this is my bedroom. Uh, it worked well. I guess they used to haul hay and different things up here uh -huh. when, when this was a horse trader. Uh, so I just turned that in my bedroom and I got plenty of room. I got a uh, vent here for good ventilation and uh, it just really does a good job for me up there and I built these cabinets to put my clothes and stuff in this Refrigerator coming out come out of the the camper that I bought for 500 bucks I had to work on it to get it up and running good, but that's that's a 1975 refrigerator and it still works awesome. Well, I see you have an office here. Well, this is my dinette office uh, uh, Kind of the dinette office uh, deal that works either way here. Mm-hmm um, I have another chair underneath so I can put two chairs there if I have company. It's really spacious. Uh, yeah, it works great. Yeah, and then this is your kitchen. Yes, this is my kitchen. I This is the, the stove out of the camper and it, uh, it was all part of the $500. The water tank is under here and that was all part of the $500. How many I, gallons? Uh, that's uh, 25 gallons. Nice. And then I have another tank that I carry in the back of my pickup that's a 40 gallon tank. Oh, nice. So I can, you know, if I'm out boondocking somewhere, I can, I have that and then I can re-go and fill it up if I need to, to mm -hmm. resupply myself with water. Mm -hmm. And I have 400 watts of uh, solar panels on top, as I mentioned earlier. My inverter and all that is down here. Uh, and then, and then this is my, my restroom and shower facility right in here. Okay, yeah, and that was, I had to work on that a while to find, uh, to find, because this being a horse trader, it's a slant. They call these a slant. Oh, right. So, so that wall is at a slant. It, it took me a while to find that uh, shower stall that worked with that slant configuration, but, but I finally did find it and, and put that together. Nice. Do you have a gray tank? Yes, I have a 28 gallon gray tank and a 28 gallon black tank that's, uh, you know, up underneath and they're, uh, uh, up high, so they good ground clearance. They're kind of low profile tanks, but long. So it feels really open in here, actually, with the desk in the kitchen. You did all this work yourself? Yes. This over a period of time, I would, uh, every time I took it out, I would kind of think, well, I'd like to have this or that, and then I would come home and buy the materials and and start putting that together, and then it was just one piece at a time until it ended up, you know, what it is now. Yeah. So tell us about the kitchen. Uh, I cook here. <laughs> 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 and uh, and it's all the room I really need, you know. Okay, so you have a little sink here. Yeah, and this this sink come out of the camper. Uh huh. So this was all part of that. And then I have uh, my my uh, coffee pot that I just set in there to travel, but I set it over here and plug it in to utilize it. Nice. Oh, it's a double sink here. And I got the microwave, and I that runs off the the inverter with with the solar panels and. Really. Yeah. How what how much uh, power do you have from your inverter? Uh, I think it's 2,000 watts oh, wow. with a, with a 3,000 watt peak. It's so you, and then you have a low wattage microwave? It's seven, yeah, it's a 750 wow. or 700 or 750. That's yeah, nice. That's a boondocking yeah. dream. It, it takes a little longer for it to heat, heat things because it's a lower wattage, yeah. but, but it doesn't uh, stress the system in yeah. lower wattage. And then tell me about this cabinet down here. That looks like it has a lot of storage. Did you build that? Uh, yeah, I, I built or... all this, and that's just kind of oh, my, wow. my paper plates and all my, my different stuff like that, so I don't have to get on my hands and knees and and just my, you know, all this kind of stuff. Wow, those are really deep. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, and these these back here, they work in the same way. I made this cabinet so that, that these oh, doors wow. come out, so I have access to all oh, this wow. stuff. Oh, wow. 
I put my canned goods on the bottom because they're heavier, but I right. don't have good access to, to all my, my stuff easily. Wow, you know, a horse trailer is a good way to go. There's a lot of storage in here. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of room to make what you want out of it. Yeah. You just have to kind of figure out how you want to utilize it. I have to tell you, the breeze coming through here is everything. Um, oh, the yeah, breeze it, from the back through that screen door is great. It makes it nice, and, and, and I have a screen that, there that, that goes across that door, too, to keep the bugs nice. out if I happen to be in an area with a lot of bugs. Which I've been in a, a few other rigs today, and they're, they can get hot. Yeah. So yeah. This, this, this is great for yeah. airflow. Plus, I have the big vents up on top that, that I'm not, you know, I just have them uh, kind of plugged off now for the cold that we've been having right. recently, so I can keep it warm in here. but. I can open those up, and those are also escape vents if for some reason I need to escape. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your stove really quick. Well, so like, is it it's a, is it propane? Yeah, it's a propane stove. Like I said, this is the one that come out of that camper, all part of the $500. Oh my gosh, what a score. Um, yeah. And it's so you have a portable stuff, propane tank stuff for stuff that? Oven. Well, I have, I'll show you outside. I got my propane tanks and my batteries out there. Okay. And I have the the Wave Six for my heater, and if I, it'll it'll heat this whole thing up unless it's real cold. And then if it's you know down into the 30s or so, if I close that door, then it heats this front part really well. Nice. Really, really fast. Nice. Uh, but before we go outside, I wanted to ask you about the windows. Um, yeah, it's got these these windows all the way along, and I have them kind of sealed up right now too, to, uh, just to keep the heat in mm -hmm. uh, with that with the reflectix. Right. Uh, but but if I take the, those reflectix out of there, I just kind of got a, a, a constant window down both sides. Which yeah, it's actually from outside you think the windows aren't going to be very big, but when you're inside, you can see a lot, and then you've got this huge window in the back when the back is open yes and and this uh, door yes. there's also like a floor to ceiling window yes which that works that works great am i lucky or what <laughs> say that again am i lucky or what you totally are <laughs> <laughs> so gary yes there are a lot of people here yes. that want to be a nomad either part-time or full-time and they're trying to figure out how to do it and they could be a little scared what would you say to them uh, if it's something you really want to do, go for it. Try it, you know, and and, and buy whatever you can get to get started with. Uh, uh, there's so many different configurations of vehicles here. You can start with a, just a car or a trader or a van and, and just use it and, and be in it and make what you want out of it. Yeah. And and, uh, and just go for it and, and build up from there, you know, and... and Follow your dreams. Yay! Yeah. My bro propane and batteries are right here. That's great. Above my uh, spare tire. And they're out of the way and out of the weather. And uh, and they work out really well right here. Were you handy before? Did, how did you know how to do all this stuff? Um, I don't know how to do anything. But, but I, <laughs> you know, if I want something bad enough, I just keep at it until I get where I want to go. And, and that's kind of every piece of this trailer. That's right. And just like that. Just figure it out a piece at a time. It's like like eating an elephant one bite at a time. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, hey, you guys, I'm going to say goodbye to Gary so we can probably go sit at a campfire and hang out. Yes. And just relax for the rest of the day. But I want to say thank you for the tour. You're very welcome. It's really great. Yeah. Everybody, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have happy travels out there and be free. Yes, and thank you for what you do too, Robin. You uh, you uh, inspire a lot of people with, with what you, uh, all your knowledge that you bless bless us with. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Isn't he nice, you guys? He's my favorite person I've met here. It's true. Wow. 